loud crash. An experimental plane crashes into a home, killing everyone inside. And then I heard the explosion, and came over, you know, a few minutes later, of course, seconds later, really, just the place was on fire. We have live team coverage on how it all unfolded. Plus, should these experimental planes be flying so close to neighborhoods? They belong at a rural area, like G. We'll talk to one man who's building a similar plane in his garage. But first, a complete Democratic ticket tonight. Barack Obama chooses his vice presidential running mate. The suspense over the Democratic ticket ended tonight. Barack Obama has reportedly chosen Delaware Senator Joe Biden as his running mate. Yes, yeah, supporters had been waiting for a text message, but news sources broke the story early. Biden was likely chosen because he's an expert in foreign policy, an area where Obama is considered perhaps lacking. Now that the secret's out, pundits are already analyzing the choice and all the pros and cons of the decision. Tara Mergener reports live now. Good evening. After all of the mystery and all of the speculation, CBS News has now confirmed Senator Joe Biden of Delaware is Obama's VP pick. Senator Joe Biden is a Washington insider. Barack Obama ended months of speculation when he announced his choice for vice president via email and text message. Biden has run for president three times, including the current race for the White House. He dropped his bid after the Iowa caucuses. Biden is chairman of the U.S. Senate Committee on Foreign Relations and is widely regarded as one of the top foreign policy experts in Congress. Obama hopes that will quiet critics who say he doesn't have the experience to lead. The senior senator from Delaware showed off his foreign policy skills the week before the announcement with a trip to the Republic of Georgia. He got a first-hand look at conditions there following a week of fighting between Georgia and Russia. Some party leaders are concerned that Biden will undermine Obama's message of bringing change to Washington. The 65-year-old Democrat has served in the Senate since 1973. He voted in support of the Iraq War in 2002, but later became one of its most vocal critics. Biden is also known for his love of long speeches and a tendency to speak without thinking things through. He got criticized for referring to Obama as the first mainstream African-American presidential candidate who was our articulate, bright, clean, and a nice-looking guy. Hey, folks, how are you? Biden is no stranger to the spotlight and tough questions. Democrats are hoping that a pairing of the old and the new guard will lead them to the White House. And the official announcement comes tomorrow at a rally in Springfield, Illinois. Live in Washington, I'm Tara Mergener. Back to you. And then I heard the explosion. We have had three fatalities. People in North Las Vegas have feared an explosion like that for decades as an experimental plane crashes into a home. The plane took off from the North Las Vegas airport, which is surrounded by neighborhoods and businesses. The crash happened early this morning, but tonight investigators are still dismantling the scene and trying to piece together how it all happened. The pilot and two people inside the home were killed. Eyewitness News has live team coverage. Amanda Hernandez looked into these experimental planes, but we begin with Aaron Drawhorn, who is at the scene of the crash. Aaron. Paulo, that family went to bed here last night for the final time only to be killed early in the morning in the comfort of their own home. Tonight, that house is a total loss as investigators try to determine what went wrong. This home on Langdon Way will soon be a tragic memory. Crews worked well into the evening, demolishing the burnt structure. Earlier, family members of the victims salvaged what they could after the plane plunged into the home, causing a fatal inferno. Suddenly, I heard this big boom, and I thought it was a hand grenade. Neighbors say the fire was so intense, they could do nothing but only watch in horror. When I seen the plane, I said, oh, God, please help the people, you know, don't die there. It was intense. It was real intense. Charles Maggio saw the scare in the air go from bad to worse in just seconds. And then all of a sudden it just dropped out of sight. And I was like, man, he's going to crash. Clearly this is the, the worst accident uh, off of one of our general aviation reports that I'm aware of in my nearly 18 years. The Velocity 173 RG took off just before 6.30 a.m. from the North Las Vegas airport and soon radioed in trouble. The experimental plane only had five hours of flying time. Aviation, when you look statistically, is still the safest mode of transportation. I mean, 
I mean, how many fatalities did we have on I-15 last year? And we don't talk about shutting I-15 down. Still, Walker believes these experimental aircraft in urban settings do not mix. Neighbors are now watching the skies, aware of the never-ending stream of planes. Just thinking that you live next to an airport, you don't think that you're going to wake up with a plane in your house. So it's really sad. Back live now, federal investigators were on the scene at the home here this evening looking for any evidence. Tonight that plane is in a warehouse. It will be closely examined. We understand it could take anywhere from 12 to 18 months for the NTSB to issue its final report on what went wrong today. We're live tonight in North Las Vegas. Aaron Drawhorn, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Aaron, were you able to find out anything about the pilot of the aircraft? We've lost that signal from Aaron, but what he was going to tell us, uh, we know from his script, the owner of the aircraft was not the pilot. Today was the first and what would turn out to be the last time that that plane left the Las Vegas, the North Las Vegas airport. Planes leaving that airport have crash landed on streets. One crashed in Mount Charleston, and many felt it was just a matter of time before a plane would hit a house. Just last year, North Las Vegas airport was named the worst in the nation by Forbes magazine, with six deaths and 63 runway incursions since 2001. Now officials want experimental planes restricted to airports in rural areas and kept away from North Las Vegas Airport. Clark County Aviation Director Randall Walker called publicly for the first time that new restrictions be in place on homemade aircraft. I do not believe under our circumstance that experimental aircraft and high-risk aircraft operations such as training and solo flights belong in an urban airport. They belong at a rural airport like Jean. Walker says he will lobby to get Congress to change the law and allow airports to have more control. And he plans to seek more support from other airports across the country. The FAA says today's plane did get an airworthiness certificate in 2002, but did not have records available for us on the succeeding required annual inspections. As we heard, the plane that crashed was called a Velocity 173R G aircraft, an experimental plane that can actually be ordered online and built at home. Now, enthusiasts take the do-it-yourself kit and create a homemade airplane. Well, tonight we caught up with one of those craftsmen. Amanda Hernandez joins us now with a look inside his garage. Amanda. Well, Dave, this project is four and a half years in the making. While there's still a lot here that needs to be done, when it does make it to the sky, it will join about 150 other planes, and all of their builders will tell you these are safe. A look into this garage will lead you face to face with a propeller and a plane that just barely fits inside. Six years old, started building model airplanes, led to a career in the Air Force. Uh, it's kind of the ultimate model airplane. Like in any hobby, building your passion from start to finish is a true feat. I know every rivet, nut, bolt, everything that's involved with it, um, how these pieces all join together. But when the project is an airplane, it's risky. But Rick Sked says knowing his plane inside and out makes it safer. But it's mine. and. And I feel comfortable when it's done, I'll, I'll take anybody up in it. For plane kit builders, it's a pride they stake their own lives on and that of their friends and family. The and they are a regulated group. Uh, Once a plane is done, SCED can't just take to the sky. An FAA inspector must find it airworthy first. They give you the, the go ahead to, to do your test flight and they set up a radius and there's hours I have to fly this thing before anybody can get inside of it. Now, Sked believes test flights and the following 40 hours needed to test a plane should not be at an airport like North Las Vegas, where people live right next door. If I come off the ground, I come through 500 feet, and the engine all of a sudden quits, I like to have some smooth desert out in front of me, not that it's that smooth, to be able to land versus trying to pick a street around the neighborhood. However, he disagrees with the thought that once these planes finish testing, they should be banned from certain uh, airports. Metal it, it's it's, it's, it's not uh, any riskier than flying an airplane that was you built by Cessna or Piper or any, any place else, yeah. except I know this airplane. Now to meet the requirements, the owner of the plane must build 51% of it themselves. Now particular case, the owner went ahead and contracted out this engine. He says since this is the most important part, he was leaving that 
to the experts. For now, we're reporting live, Amanda Hernandez, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. All right, Amanda, today's crash and its aftermath reminds one North Las Vegas family of a close call they escaped just two years ago when a plane crashed right down their street. We heard the metal grinding down Jones before the plane exploded. Tina Montesano's five children were outside playing when they heard the explosion that left a mangled plane sitting on the street there just three houses down. Even the kids remember. It went down, spinned around, hit the wall, hit the gate, hit a pole, spun around. Then, then people came running out and it exploded. Pretty accurate description there. No one died in that crash, but with small planes constantly flying overhead, the Montesanos are now more aware of the danger zone they live in. And as a recap now, tonight, investigators are looking into what caused an experimental plane to crash from the North Las Vegas airport, killing both the pilot and two people inside the home. We have extended interviews from eyewitnesses along with eyewitness snapshots on our website. That's LasVegasNow.com. Elsewhere, Dave, one Texas officer was able to give a first-hand look at the rescue of a plane crash in Caldwell, Texas. The officer arrived just minutes after the plane went down in a field. He was wearing a helmet camera and caught it all on tape. He helped pull two men to safety. Fortunately, both of them survived this crash. A former world-famous bodybuilder now faces decades in prison. All of the passages of Melissa's life are forever halted because Craig Titus and Kelly Ryan said so. Why the judge threw the book at them, despite their plea deal. From New York to Minnesota, thieves are attacking the most vulnerable. The latest, an 80-year-old woman beaten in the face. And Tropical Storm Faye is now a killer as it hovers over Florida for a fifth day. And Ted has our forecast when we come back. You're watching Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 11 with Paula Francis and Dave Cavassier. The first local news in HD. Spanish closed captioning of Eyewitness News is brought to you by the Nevada Surgical Weight Loss Center at North Vista Hospital, a bariatric center of excellence. Register for a seminar today. Are you getting less than 32 miles per gallon? That doesn't make sense. Head to your Southern Nevada Hyundai dealers during our dollars and cents sales event. Get the best values on the road. Hyundai Accent, Elantra, and Sonata all get at least 32 miles per gallon. Like the redesigned 2009 Sonata, you'll get more MPG than Accord and Camry for thousands less. Plus, America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000 miles. Right now, get up to $2,000 cash back on our fuel-efficient lineup of Hyundai sedans. Visit Planet United, Henderson, and Centennial Hyundai, because this event ends soon. The future of television is fast approaching and it's bringing a crystal clear signal, astonishing pictures and sound, and more channels to choose from. If you want to keep watching free TV with an antenna, you'll need to purchase a low-cost converter before February 17th. You can even get a government rebate that covers most of the cost. Then just sit back and experience the digital revolution. It's like the difference between black and white and color. Channel 8 is making the big switch easy. Get the facts on digital television at LasVegasNow.com. Hey, I'm back, and so is the Honda Clearance, which means two great things can happen. One, it's your chance to get a new, totally redesigned Accord or the fuel-efficient Civic, and two, at a savings that could be very opportunistic. Get it? <laughs> Look, I may be animated, but it all adds up to me. Oop, guess I forgot to walk Oscar. The 2008 Honda Clearance. Get APR financing as low as 1.9% on all new Honda Accords for well-qualified buyers. I'm Mr. Opportunity, and I'm knocking. Yeah, Oscar! No matter where you are in your busy day, LasVegasNow.com keeps you connected. Let me show you. You're always on time with constant updates from Beat the Traffic. At work, you're plugged into the latest breaking news on your computer or cell phone. And we connect you with the best ways to spend quality time with the ones you love. It's that easy. Whatever you're searching for, you'll find it in one place. LasVegasNow.com, Southern Nevada's homepage. An emotional day in court as two former champion bodybuilders learned they'll spend the next several years mm. behind bars. Craig Titus and Kelly Ryan talked about the murder of their live-in assistant, Melissa James. She was our friend, and I loved her. Things got carried out of control. 
It was all drug-induced. I know. I was not in a state of mind. Emotionally or physically. Craig Titus claimed he was trying to protect his wife there, Kelly Ryan, who was being attacked by James, and that's when he said something went terribly wrong. James' body was found a few days later in a trunk of a burned-out car in the desert. James' mother didn't buy the excuses and asked for maximum punishment. Many, many nights I've awoken to horrible visions in my mind of how she suffered. Both Titus and Ryan agreed to a plea deal days before their trial was set to begin. Titus will be behind bars for at least 21 years. Ryan will serve at least six. Back here at home, a brutal crime spree in the southwest part of the valley is over tonight as Metro arrests five people, including three juveniles. Adults Anthony Medell and Michael McSwain were part of the crew that robbed and beat victims at gunpoint near Grand Canyon and Desert Inn. Police say the group's responsible for several crimes, including stealing cars and burglary. Rank and file members of the Culinary Union have approved a new contract with the Tropicana Hotel Casino. About 750 employees at the resort are covered by the agreement. It guarantees free family health insurance and better benefits for workers who are called up to active military duty. Well, how'd you like to be in front of a, get a front row seat at the Democratic National Convention, or at least a virtual seat? Well, on our website, lasvegasnow.com, we'll take you into the heart of the party. Just go to nevadavote2008.com. Four students from the Hank Greenspun School of Journalism will be roaming the convention, reporting on the issues that matter to all of us here in Southern Nevada. You'll have a live streaming video from the convention floor, and you will be able to text the reporter specific questions they can ask. You can also find information on any race in Nevada, a personalized feature you won't find anywhere else but on Eyewitness News and LasVegasNow.com. More Southern Nevadans will soon be out of work. Dillard's is closing its store at the Boulevard Mall in October. Dillard's executives say most of the 150 employees will be transferred to their other three stores here, but some of them will lose their jobs. The chain is closing 13 stores out of more than 300 nationwide. Attacks on some of the most vulnerable in our society are happening more frequently, and many are being caught on camera. Most recently, an 80-year-old woman attacked in her daughter's store, a store the family's run for five years. You see the man here comes in with a gun drawn. After he gets cash, he hits not only the store owner, but pistol whips her mother. He hit her so hard and with such violence that it uh, tore her face open. Police want him caught because he attacked the women even after getting the money, and they don't want him hurting another victim. Well, are China's Olympic female gymnasts even old enough to compete in this year's summer games? That's exactly what the International Gymnastics Federation is now looking into. Gold medalist gymnast He Kasein is registered as 16, but now there's questions about her age and those of four of her other teammates. The ISC is simply wanting to do its due diligence and work with the Federation to 100% clarify the situation and put this to rest. So far, the International Olympic Committee says there's no evidence that there's been any violation of rules. China's head coach maintains all the athletes are old enough. China could, though, lose its medals if gymna in gymnastics if the girls are found to be younger than 16. Florida just can't catch a break from Tropical Storm Fay. The storm has pummeled the state for the fifth straight day, dropping more than two feet of rain in some parts. Residents are keeping a watchful eye on the water, which is rampant with alligators and dangerous waterborne diseases. There's a five-foot alligator in here. It's been swimming around for a while. I guess we underestimated the storm, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> they said tropical storm. It didn't, didn't hit us as hurricanes, so weren't really prepared. At least six people have died in the storm, and thousands of people have been without power for days. National and state disaster teams are already assessing the damage from Faye, but they can't get to some areas because of the high flood water. I've got a sister that lives in Gainesville. I really yeah. should give her a call yeah. and find out how she's uh, doing. Yeah. She That's a little higher ground, working. though. It's not like yeah. we're on the coast. So. Yeah, absolutely. Still, though, it's dumping <laughs> a lot of rain. If well, there's any good news in this thing, though, is Georgia has a big drought. 
This will help a little That's bit. That's true. A yeah. little yeah. bit. Not much, so. Uh, outside here, back at home, it's been picture perfect, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Wish we could turn down the temperatures a little bit, but yeah, still obvious, get there. right? <laughs> temperatures outside right now, still in the mid to low 90s, being tonight, your overnight low is going to be in the low 80s. Got to like that. This is our camera, uh, courtesy of Mulaski Family Properties. We've got a clear night tonight. Your winds have subsided. Take a look at the current temperatures. A lot of us into the uh, low 90s to upper 80s now at this hour. Camino, Colorado, 89 degrees. 95, Mount Mr. Russell. 91, Charleston, and Torrey Pines. Maybe you live outside of Las Vegas. Searchlight, 84 degrees. Mesquite, you're at 86 right now. Cooler up in Alamo and Lincoln County, at 72 degrees. The wind speeds we showed you earlier were just slightly breezy, not too bad at all. We told you it would subside tonight. Here's a look at them now. Nice light wind, single digits throughout. Most of Las Vegas and southern Nevada mesquite. Calm up there. All right, here are the highs for the day today. We start in the north part of town. Camino Dorado, 105 degrees. Laminone's 103. We're still above average for this time of the year. It's going to stay that way. Through the weekend, too, Pebble and 215, 106 degrees. 101 for Boulder City, Indian Springs came in at 101 degrees. Speaking of highs, this was our top temperature at Buchanan today. 104 degrees, our normal. It's supposed to be 101. We dropped to 79 degrees overnight. That felt nice overnight. Temperatures, again, should be in the low 80s to the 70s. All right, let's give you a quick update on Tropical Storm Faye. It has started to gain a little bit of strength again. Right now, sustained winds are about 50 miles per hour. Gusts are at 65 miles per hour. It's moving at a very slow pace to the west at 80 Eight miles per hour located just north or just south rather of Tallahassee, Florida, and it is dumping a lot of rain. We've talked about five straight days of rain in Florida. No wonder they have a lot of flooding there. This right here in the Gulf of Mexico is a lot of warm water, so it will head back over here and re-energize again. I don't think it's going to be at a category one, but it will gain more strength before it starts to make its way inland again. That would make it five times it has hit landfall. That is unprecedented. That usually doesn't happen. There's a look right now at the radar dumping a lot of rain into the uh, panhandle of Florida, into Georgia. Its path Saturday, we think, right around Mobile, Alabama, before it makes landfall again Sunday further inland into Jackson, Mississippi. Back here at home, 81 degrees. We've got clear skies tonight. Your winds now starting to relax a little bit. 105 for Saturday. Extra hot. Your average high is 101 degrees. So we are above average again and it's going to stay that way all the way throughout most of next week too. 106 for Sunday, Monday, clear and dry for the first day of classes. 103 for the end of the week. Although we're clear and dry this week, there is some hint of some monsoonal moisture making its way in on Sunday. Let's hope that happens. We could use some rain, just not the flooding. So, yeah, I'll hear that. And I'll be here. Keep okay. my arm. Right, thanks, Ted. <laughs> Michael Burke is here. I just added an arm. Familiar arm? Uh -huh. Local guy, old yeah, arm. Kind yeah, of still effects. Still uh -huh. effects. Nice. Nice. Coming up next in sports, <laughs> back in blue, Greg Maddox made his season debut for the Dodgers. How'd that go? And could it be lights out on the Sean Merriman lights out sack dance? NFL injury news and possibly a big one next. Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Back after this. This portion of Eyewitness News in HD is brought to you by Famous Footwear. A tax-deductible donation of your car, truck, RV, or boat will help those in need through Volunteers of America. Caring without limits for more than 110 years. Call 450-2000 or find out more at carshelpingpeople.org. Why has it been called the greatest car on earth? Is it because it is the choice of so many world leaders? Is it because of its extraordinary reputation for safety? Or its storied and celebrated history? Or is it simply because once a person has experienced it, they find it difficult to settle for anything less? The 2008 S-Class, the legendary sedan from Mercedes-Benz. Hey, it's me again, and that means it's the Honda Clearance. So whether you've got your heart set on the five-passenger Ridgeline, the Element, or a good-looking CRV, well, now's the time to get a deal that's really sweet. You got any room for mine? Sure do. Nice. That hidden in-bed trunk is really cool. Speaking of cool, it's numbers like these that help make the CRV the best-selling crossover in America. The 2008 Honda Clearance. And where? Yeah, your Honda dealer. I'm Mr. Opportunity, and I'm knocking. If you're looking for a new home, this weekend Pulte Homes is giving you the green light. It's our Green Means Go sales event now through Sunday. Go for our Jumpstart Tax Incentive, a $7,500 match that's in addition to any tax credit you may be entitled to, plus up to $5,000 in free upgrades, and we'll pay your HOA fees for the first year. But hurry, the sale ends Sunday. 
Visit any one of our 11 Las Vegas communities priced from the mid-100s to the mid-500s. Ashley Furniture Home Store's Labor Day event is celebrating the American worker with up to $500 in gas. For a limited time, earn up to $100 in gas when you spend $199 to $499. Or earn up to $300 in gas when you spend $500 to $999. Or earn up to $500 in gas when you spend $1,000 or more. And that's not all. Pay no interest for one full year. But you have to hurry. These great Labor Day gas offers end soon. Ashley Furniture Home Store. You're going to love this place. Wake up with Eyewitness News this morning. Expect light showers off and on all afternoon. Hey, don't go this way. There's a big traffic jam on aisle two. You need to find an alternate route. Here you go, Sherry. New study shows fruit of any kind can help keep your memory sharp as a tag. Oh, Dave. You know, protecting your identity is as easy as a few simple steps. At LasVegasNow.com, you can learn how to keep your money safe. Now, where'd I park? We found Denise's car and is down here on aisle three, rather row three. Start your morning with the most enjoyable team around. A tax-deductible donation of your car, truck, RV, or boat will help those in need through Volunteers of America. Caring without limits for more than 110 years. Call 450-2000 or find out more at carshelpingpeople.org. This portion of Eyewitness News in HD is brought to you by Vons. Channel 8 Eyewitness Sports with Michael Burke. In 2006, the Dodgers rolled the dice on an old Las Vegas hoping he'd get them to the playoffs. They rolled a seven. Now they're going to press that bet and try it again. Greg Maddox making his season debut in blue after the trade from San Diego. Maddox staked to an early lead in Philadelphia and then got bashed around. Fourth inning, Ryan Howard puts Philly up 2-1 to one with this two-run home run. Sixth inning, 4-1 to one Phillies in the lead and go ahead and tack on three more for Chris Cost. Three run home run, seven runs, nine hits, and five and two thirds innings for Maddox. Dodgers hammered in Philly 8 1, but they remain two back of Arizona. Wrigley Field matinee, first place Cubs and Washington. Cubs led 4 0, but Washington had a breakout sixth inning. Willie Harris, grand slam to cap that six run inning. 13 5, Nationals rally in Chicago for the rare road win. Week three of the NFL preseason schedule. The week that matters, they tell us, because it's the official dress rehearsal for the season openers. Also means the starters play at least into the third quarter for the Cowboys in Houston and Dallas. Tony Romo, he's a starter, and he's got all kinds of time to throw the football. And finds Patrick Creighton. Creighton's in for a touchdown. It's a 7-3 game. Second quarter, 10-10 game. Marion Barber shared a lot of these touchdowns with Julius Jones in the past. Not this season, fantasy owners. Over the top for a 17-10 Dallas lead. Cowboys hang on for a 23-22 win. San Diego Chargers may be without all-pro linebacker Sean Merriman for several weeks, if not the entire season. Merriman told the Union Tribune of San Diego he is suffering from a torn knee ligament. A complete tear would require season-ending surgery. Chargers play Seattle on Monday night. Following six wins in three years, the UNLV football program has only one way to go, you would think. Could this be the year of the Rebels? Chris Matthews has more from Rebel Park. Who's to say if UNLV will find success in 2008? Hey, you can take cell phones and sports books now, so I guess anything's possible. Going into the season, we have nine out of 11 starters back on offense, so you've got to say that that's a strength. But I really believe that our defensive front is a strength also. Our defensive line, uh, we're deeper there. Our first line players are better players. Man for man, it seems the Rebels stack up with the rest of the league. At least on paper, you can find more than a few wins. Yeah, there's definitely some progress here. You know, you could tell by just, just how we're practicing as a team. You know, everything's fast. You know, practices are shorter, but, you know, we get in a lot more work and, you know, coaches don't have to get on us as much because we're taking care of business. And speaking of those sports books, they've got UNLV favored in two of their first four games against Utah State and Iowa State. Well, uh, we've already started watching film and um, they're, uh, they're worthy opponents. So what will it take for the Rebels this fall? Maybe a superhuman effort, kind of like that one guy. Michael Phelps. Yeah, that guy. Chris Matthews, Channel 8 Eyewitness Sports. <laughs> <laughs> Talk is cheap, and they'll do it for real we'll see. one week from tomorrow. <sighs> Can you amazing. believe that? Yeah. No. Already. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> you bet. We'll be right back. Watch a room full of grown women lose their minds. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> David Cassidy is here. Then America's favorite family, the Cosby Kids. Next Oprah. Monday morning at 9 on Channel 8.
Considering bankruptcy? Experience counts. Frank Sorrentino has three convenient offices to serve you. Filing bankruptcy with Frank eliminated my credit card debt. Filing bankruptcy with Frank eliminated my payday loans. Filing bankruptcy with Frank gave me the fresh start that I needed. Filing a bankruptcy with Frank has saved my house from foreclosure. File bankruptcy with Frank, he'll treat you like family. Thanks, Frank! When it comes to bankruptcy, the only name to remember is Frank Sorrentino, your Las Vegas Henderson Bankruptcy Headquarters. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can I take a message? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. You have a great day. Chase, you ever find your stapler? No, man. Hey, Brad. When you live in Summerlin, the line between work and play gets a little blurred. Get the inside scoop on the outside scene. Visit adventuresinsummerlin.com today. Now through Monday, get spectacular summer savings at Desert Toyota, recipient of Toyota's 2007 President's Award. We've given ourselves a monster sales goal of 888 vehicles this month. So we're giving you 0% financing on select new Toyotas. Or get up to $5,000 cash back. Plus receive two movie tickets with any test drive. Even check out our gas-saving Corolla. It's the summer selling season at Desert Toyota. Don't miss it. RC Willie wants to help celebrate Labor Day with a big sale, so come in and save! Our Labor Day sale is the one you've been waiting for. There's never been a better time to save on everything for your home. RC Willie, your home, your way. Did anybody say that? Yeah. <laughs> Get Lost Again, Sundays on Channel 8. Spanish closed captioning of Eyewitness News is brought to you by the Nevada Surgical Weight Loss Center at North Vista Hospital, a bariatric center of excellence. Register for a seminar today. Well, that is our news live at 11 tonight. Wake up with Eyewitness News this morning, and of course, we are always on at LasVegasNow.com. Dave Letterman is next. Join Colleen May and Chris Saldana here tomorrow night, and have a great weekend.